Welcome to Shaker Maths. Today we are going to learn 7th class mathematics key to part A of summative assessment 1 conducted on February 2022. Summative assessment 1 2021-22 7th class mathematics English medium consists of part A and part B. Now here in this video we learn only part A. Now let us take section 3, 10th problem A. Calculate the following 1, 2, 3, 4. Solution 1 9.6 by 16. On simplification by 16, 16, 0 0.6 times. That is equal to 0 0.6 is the answer. Solution 2 9.8 by minus 49. On simplification by 49, 49, 0 0.2 times. That is equal to minus 0 0.2. Solution 3, minus 5.1 divided by minus 17. On simplification by 17, 17, 0 0.3 times. That is equal to 0 0.3. Solution 4, minus 3.8 by 19. On simplification by 19, 19, 0 0.2 times. That is equal to minus 0 0.2 is the answer. Now 10b calculate the following 1, 2, 3, 4. Solution 1 write the number in the numerator 16928. Now observe that there is only one zero in the denominator. So put a decimal point counting from right side to left side after one digit. That is 1692.8. Number 2. Observe that there are two zeros in the denominator. So put a decimal point counting from right side to left side after two digits. That is 169.28. Solution 3. Observe that there are three zeros in the denominator. So put a decimal point counting from right side to left side after three digits. That is 16.928. Solution 4. Observe that there are four zeros in the denominator. So put a decimal point uh, counting from right side to left side after four digits. That is 1.6928 is the answer. Now 11a solve the following simple equations. 1, 2, 3, 4. Solution 1. 3x is equal to 18. So x is equal to 18 by 3. On simplification by 3, 3, 6 times. So, x is equal to 6 is the solution. Now, solution 2. Minus 7m is equal to 21. m is equal to 21 by minus 7. On simplification by 7, 7, 3 times. So, m is equal to minus 3 is the solution. Solution 3. 5 by 3 m is equal to 10. Then m is equal to 10 into 5 by 3. Because 5 by 3 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes into 3 by 5. On simplification by 5, 5 2 times. So m is equal to 6. Because 2 into 3 is 6. Now solution 4. 4 p plus 7 is equal to minus 21. So 4p is equal to minus 21 minus 7 because plus 7 when transposed to right hand side it becomes minus 7. 4p is equal to minus 28 because sum of two negative integers is again a negative integer. So p is equal to minus 28 by 4 on simplification by 4, 4, 7 times. So p is equal to minus 7 is the solution of the above equation. Now 11b. The length of a rectangle is 5 more than twice of its breadth. If the perimeter is 148 meters, then find the length and breadth of the rectangle. Solution. Let breadth is equal to b say. Then length l is equal to observe the word twice. It indicates number 2. Of indicates the operation multiplication. So put into. Observe the word breadth. So write B in place of breadth. 
ऑब्जर्व द वर्ड मोर इट इंडिकेट्स द ऑपरेशन प्लस फाइव सो राइट द नंबर फाइव सो लेंथ एल इज इक्वल टू टू बी प्लस फाइव ऑब्जर्व द वर्ड पेरीमीटर इट इंडिकेट्स द सम ऑफ द साइड्स ऑफ द रेक्टांगल पी इज इक्वल टू एल प्लस बी प्लस एल प्लस बी दट इज इक्वल टू टू एल प्लस टू बी टेकिंग टू एज कामन टू इंटू एल प्लस बी बट पेरीमीटर पी इज इक्वल टू वन फारटी एट मीटर्स सो टू इंटू एल प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू वन फारटी एट मीटर्स सो एल प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू वन फारटी एट बै टू नाउ आन सिंप्लीफिकेशन बै टू टू सेवेंटी फोर टाइम्स दट इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फोर मीटर्स सो एल प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फोर मीटर्स नाउ रईट टू बी प्लस फाइव इन प्लेस आफ एल दट ईज टू बी प्लस फाइव प्लस बी इज ईक्वल टू सेवेंटी फोर नाउ थ्री बी प्लस फाइव इज ईक्वल टू सेवेंटी फोर बिकॉज टू बी प्लस बी इज ईक्वल टू थ्री बी नाउ थ्री बी इज ईक्वल टू सेवेंटी फोर माइनस फाइव बिकॉज प्लस फाइव वेन ट्रांसपोज टू द रईट हैंड सैड इट बिकम्स मैनस फाइव ना थ्री बी इज ईक्वल टू सिक्सटी नईन बिका सेवेंटी फोर मैनस फाइव गिव सिक्सटी नईन ना बी इज ईक्वल टू सिक्सटी नईन बै थ्री ना आन सिंप्लीफिकेशन बै थ्री थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री टाइम्स सो ब्रेड तो बी इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी थ्री मीटर्स Now put twenty three in place of L is equal to two b plus five. Then length L is equal to two into twenty three plus five. That is equal to forty six plus five because two into twenty three is forty six. That is equal to fifty one because forty six plus five is equal to fifty one meters. So length L is equal to fifty one meters. Breadth B is equal to twenty three meters. Now twelve a. Write the suitable number in the blanks. One, two, three, four. Observe the number minus three on left hand side and also on right hand side. There is no change. It is only possible when it is added to the number zero. So zero is the answer. Number two. Two into minus three is equal to minus three into dash. Observe the symbol equal to. It indicates that the products are equal. Observe the number minus three on both the left hand side and right hand side. So in the blank, two must be there because it is the commutative property under multiplication. Number three. Observe the number minus two on left hand side and also on right hand side. It is possible only when it is multiplied with a number one. So one is the answer. One is the multiplicative identity. Number four minus five into dash is equal to minus thirty. We know that five into six is equal to thirty, but minus into plus is minus, so the answer should be plus six. So in the blanks, six is the answer. Now twelve B. Identify the loss in the following statements: one, two, three, four. Solution one. Observe the numbers minus three plus five. And five plus minus three on both LHS and RHS are same, and the equality symbol. So it is a commutative property under addition. Number two, observe the zero is added, and the same number minus four is the result. So it is the identity property under addition. Number three. Minus two when multiplied by one gives the same number minus two. So here one is the identity property under multiplication. Number four minus five into two into three is equal to minus five into two into three. Here only the bracket is changed. So but the product is equal. So it is the associative property under multiplication. Now thirteen a. Observe the figure and fill the given table. Observe that the two lines L and M are parallel lines, and N is a transversal. 
and eight angles are formed A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Observe the word exterior means outside angles. So write A, B, G, H which are outside of the parallel lines L, M. Interior means inside angles. So write angles C, D, E, F which are inside the two parallel lines L and M. And already corresponding angles are given. Now observe the word alternate means Cheraka Vaipuna. Opposite sides. Interior means inside angles. So we have to write the angles which are inside but opposite of the two parallel lines L and M. They are C, E, D, F are the inside angles and opposite to each other between the two parallel lines alternate means opposite sides exterior means outside so we have to write the angles which are outside of the two parallel lines l and m and opposite to each other that is a g b h now 13 b in the given figure a e is a straight line if the ratio of the angles, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4 is 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4, then find the angles. Solution, ratio is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. So, let the angles be x, 2x, 3x and 4x, say. Now, observe the word straight line. Since the angles lie on the same line, Sum of the angles is equal to angle on the straight line which is equal to 180 degrees. So we can write x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x is equal to 180 degrees. So 10x is equal to 180 degrees because sum of x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x is equal to 10x. Now x is equal to 180 by 10 on simplification by 10, 10 18 times. So, x is equal to 18 degrees. Now, the first angle is uh, x which is equal to 18 degrees. Second angle 2x that is 2 into 18 is equal to 36 degrees. Third angle 3x is equal to 3 into 18 is uh, 54 degrees. Fourth angle 4x is equal to 4 into 18 degrees is equal to 72 degrees. So, sum of these angles is equal to 180 degrees. So, the angles are 18 degrees, 36 degrees, 54 degrees and 72 degrees. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say Karmas.